So today we're gonna uh, do a video about how to diagnose um, a leak in a dishwasher. Uh, so dishwasher can basically have three kinds of uh, leaks. One is through this um, the, the, the seam around the <clears throat> door of the dishwasher and uh, the other one that I want to show you today is um, you see there is a little motor kind of thing here it typically um, the other kind of leak happens right under that motor you'll see a little drip of water coming down uh, from there once it starts going and this this particular leak happens when the the dishwasher is in use and going to the wash cycle as opposed to fill cycle so you you'll see like a, a small drip of water coming right underneath right there you go see see there was one drop right there uh, and you should see more drops there we go a whole bunch of them coming because the water started spraying now so what it is it's a it's a, a water diverter that kind of diverts water from either the the, the the sprayer at the bottom uh, or middle of the dishwasher or the top of the dishwasher uh, and that that diverter has a shaft that is moved by this motor and that shaft is sealed by oil seal and that oil seal gets loose over time and that's where you kind of get a slow dripping water leak as you can see and the third kind of water leak is going to happen uh, just about anywhere randomly <coughs> underneath uh, the, the, the pan or the body of the dishwasher so if, if you have a crack in a body of a dishwasher then then you might get water from all over any random place in the underneath the dishwasher this one particular drips right in the center and we're going to show you how to fix this tomorrow once the dishwasher is done um, so this is how you diagnose this particular leak if the water leaks from the door that's easy fix as well you just replace the um, the door seal you can buy it anywhere on Amazon or eBay or any auto um, the appliance parts store. But this particular one is because of a, a loose oil seal. And oil seal is fairly easy to replace from the top side without removing the dishwasher. So we'll show you tomorrow how to do that. Like we said, we're going to fix the dishwasher leak. So we're going to need three things. First one is this uh, item. This is called... Um, a shaft oil seal is typically used where you want to seal liquid or oil coming from around a rotating shaft and the reason why it works because it has a little spring you can see the little shiny part in there that's a, called garter spring which kind of compresses on the shaft and this center part is like a flexible rubber so that's what keeps the water in in your dishwasher where it belongs and that that particular shaft seal the center part gets gets loose over time and the spring gets weak and so on so that's the part you're gonna need and how you order it I'm gonna tell you in a little bit another piece is come some sort of prying tool and to install that you're gonna need a silicon lubricating I'm using the brake grease it says brake grease but this is food grade and it says so on the I, I buy this big tube it's cheap uh, on Amazon you can like for bucks you get like eight ounce which will last your lifetime if you're like me all right so let's get to this um, this thing is fairly easy to fix in the sense that most dishwasher will have a kind of this kind of a um, a way to kind of disengage this particular center piece and once you remove that that's just the the water diverter I was talking about the water comes from underneath that motor which is um, and then you have a this this bottom sprayer and the, the, the water can go up to the top sprayer so <clears throat> the way you put open is there should be some sort of latch here like you see here you kind of unhook from the latch and simply rotate see there you go and a lot of these pieces will have flex in them this back back pipe so as you rotate this the back pipe will kind of give its way I'm gonna I'm gonna put the camera here so you can kind of see it. As I pull this out, 
and don't don't pull on the latch. You don't want to break that. Um, but you can uh, pull on the center piece, and it'll kind of come loose like this. And you put it on the side, and that's the kind of a a little disc. You can pull it out simply, gently lift up. Um, hope you guys can see everything I'm doing, and. <clears throat> This is the kind of important part, right? Let me kind of zoom in and kind of show you. So that little white white shaft that sticks out is the kind of a weak link in this case. And our goal is to be to get that. Oh my God! Yeah. Get enough lighting and shooting everything. It's kind of a, a juggling act. Okay, let's do this. Put the camera here. All right. So now you use a prying tool. And just so simply pry this uh, the oil seal out, right? Um, okay, so let's talk about how you're gonna get the replacement one, right? So what you want to do is you want to take a a caliper and you want to measure three dimensions. So the the outside dimension, these are typically sold in millimeters, by the way. So the outside dimension, some things gonna be like I don't know, twenty or 16 millimeter I think it's what I have the most critical dimension is the inside dimension and that's the the hole you can go a little smaller but not bigger like when I replaced the last time I bought a, a six millimeter inside dimension it's leaking again so I this time I order a, a six and a half inch in uh, sorry millimeter inside dimension and then the last third dimension is the height of this um, <clears throat> oil seal. The height is not as critical like I said <clears throat> like you can see this replacement one I have has a has a you know wrong height so to speak but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna fit inside this hole anyway so as long as it kinda stays inside and doesn't pop out you're okay in terms of height okay so let's uh, um, so now you wanna take a little bit of silicon grease uh, kind of smear it all around the oil seal and um, and pop it right in around the shaft again. So we're going to coat this with the with silicone inside and out on the sidewall to make it easy. Um, and we're going to simply insert that into the shaft. Oh. I may have to kind of push it in a little bit and there you go now we're gonna have to kind of push some force and jam it in there using a little end of the the spoon to kind of push it all the way in So I think that's as far as it's going to go. Like I said, the height on my part is a little wrong. Um, so it's not going to fit exactly um, like, but it's okay. All right, so that's that. And then we're going to put this thing back. Uh, when you're putting it back, you want to make sure you engage this, uh, this pipe first and uh, kind of put it into place and then again rotate it back in its place make sure this this latch kind of clicks in and you're done that's all it takes basically I'll put a link to the the example part number for this um, oil sea seal in my uh, Amazon uh, to the Amazon website so you can order something similar remember the the dimensions outside inside and the height matters and those are the you want to um, get them correctly okay um, thanks for watching please subscribe thanks